Okay, let's cut us a taper on there. But first, let me explain to you what I've done here. Is I I I, I removed I removed this uh, keyway out of the uh, headstock there, and then I rotated this headstock around yonder, 30 degrees. The the measurement on the scale over here and then I put this 60 degrees right here right here lined it up on the base like this right here and then down yonder and that give me a 60 degree uh, angle in yonder so what I'm going to do <clears throat> is just uh, put this in there backwards And now I will. Uh, I've got the. I've got the 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 modified tool bit in the post here, and it's at an angle there to where that that it, you, I want it to be where I'll have have clearance just by looking at it to where that angle right there, the back side of this tool bit, will not make contact with anything. Let's make a cut. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of clearance in there. And I want to turn this to... When, when I, I'll know when to quit because I want the, uh, this, this outside edge right here, I want that to be paper thin. But also, up in the inside, in, inside yonder, the inside, I want to have that little flat place for support on the inside. But uh, I feel like I've got quite a bit of quite a bit to go there, so I'm going to take a pretty pretty aggressive cut. Now I'm going to look up in yellow. Oh yeah, I got plenty. I show you what I'm talking about when I take it out. Okay. Probably probably to explain that. This this leading edge right here, I want that to be I don't want that to be sharp, but I don't want it to be all oh, like three or four thousandths thick right there. Okay, let's make a cut. And we're done. I got two more to go. Okay, see what we've ended up with? A 60 degree, where is that thing at? Oh yeah, it fits. It fits all the way down yonder, so we've got the correct taper in there. That's all right. It's completed. Okay, we got them two done. Let's uh, uh, recap. We, 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 we'll do one more. Uh, recap. Uh, what I did is loosened up, loosened up the headstock, removed the alignment key in the headstock twisted it around to the 30 degree mark alignment on that scale right there and then I put this angle right here and against the the bed and against the 
headstock and confirmed that it lined up and it does uh, got the uh, uh, that's let's just call it a modified tool bit and uh, let's put this in there and turn us one Okay, that'd be sufficient. The um, uh, show you again. If you put this, if you put this gauge in here, right in yonder, it's uh, it touches the side all the way down yonder, confirming that we are at the correct taper. And this is where the packing goes. There'll be a packing in there, and and the taper right there squeezes that packing onto the shaft little oil cutting lube let's, let's, let's do it uh oh Nice uh, shaving coming out of there. And uh, when I know when to stop is when that lip, if you remember, the edge of that right there when it's all five thousandths or so paper thin. Let's use paper thin as the measurement. Okay, I can see that we're approaching, we are approaching the, uh, the edge right there. Okay, back her out. We're finished. Let's run us a little file on that. Take her out. We're good to go. Y'all see what we got there? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. In a very short time, we've got three packing glands. Now I'm going to get on to these other ones right here. Just a matter of removing the material out of this to where that it looks like that. And remember what we started with there was one of these. And that goes, probably ought to show you the way we use that. The, the plunger 
uh, spring and a plunger and this goes right there like that and then that would go down in this part and there'll be a packing around that but the project for today was these packing glands from here on the east coast of Arkansas shop dog sound now let's clean up